Today, we look at spray foam insulation, its benefits for both new and older homes, and how it is part of a greener lifestyle. Lighting for our homes offers more versatility than ever before and greater energy efficiency. We visit one home to see the beauty and power of LED lighting. The way we power our homes has changed, and today homeowners do have many options. We'll visit a newly constructed home to look at this made in America energy source. We're uh, re redoing the upstairs bedroom, um, redoing the walls and the insulation. We have three children, Rivers, five and a half, Pierce just turned four, and Oliver, he's 15 months. <laughs> upstairs, we're ripping out all the old and the newer uh, fiberglass insulation, and we're going to put in the, the new spray foam insulation. And downstairs is going to be, is a, it's a full-size unfinished basement, and it's going to, we're going to seal the band joists with the insulation. When it, it's been really windy, so when it starts blowing outside, we fill a draft through the house. It, it stays cold, and upstairs is even more cold than downstairs. Designing Spaces Think Green contacted the Spray Foam Coalition to learn more about the positive attributes of polyurethane spray foam insulation and was able to visit the kit fields on the big day, the day the old insulation is removed and the new applied. Mm, Andy, it's pretty typical though. It is chilly, but it is something that we can definitely fix. With our process with putting in open cell polyurethane, what we would do is come in here and we will remove all of the existing insulation. They'll come in and spray the open cell polyurethane into the bays. And then where you're going to be drywalling, we will come in and we'll shave that back so that when we're finished, you're ready for drywall. Well, right now the room is tore up, so we are down to three bedrooms. So all three children are in the same bedroom. Right now it's kind of tight and difficult and cluttered. Homeowners should choose spray foam because it's highly effective and it's energy efficient. It's gonna keep your house warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer, and overall, homeowners will find that they'll save some money. We met with Allison Wilson from the American Chemistry Council to serve as our guide through the world of spray foam insulation and its green benefits. For the kind of job Andy and Anitra are getting today, this is definitely not a DIY weekend warrior type of project. You definitely want to be working with a professional trained contractor. These are the professionals who will be applying the spray foam here in the Kitfield house. Time to get spraying. Everyone is out of the house and the rooms have been prepped. Ken and his team are now ready to start applying the spray foam. For Andy and Anitra, it's gonna make their home much warmer and overall, they're gonna save a lot of money. You know, Andy and Anitra homeschool their kids, which means they're pretty much here all day long. There's really not a time when they turn down the heat and leave the house, so they're gonna realize savings. Well, once it's all done, we'll, uh, we'll have that, that room and it'll be so nice and toasty. <laughs> we won't be walking around in jackets all day long. To determine the impact of the insulation, a blower door test is performed. This test is taken before and after the insulation process to reveal how tight and efficient the spray foam insulation really is. Spray foam is really an amazing product because not only is it an insulation, it's an air sealant. So it cuts out those drafts that can come in from cracks and crevices in your house. The really great thing about spray foam is you can use it in either new construction or a renovation or retrofit. There are different types of spray foam. There's open cell and closed cell. And when we say that, that refers to the density in the particles. As a homeowner, you just need to get in touch with a professional contractor and they'll help you figure out what's the best type for your job. There are some types of foam that are moisture barriers. So a lot of times we hear about mold inside homes. 
those types of foam that do act as a moisture barrier are gonna cut down on the chances of mold in your home. And also some types of foam are great at reducing noise as well. The long-term value of foam insulation is reflected in its ability to recoup installation costs by reducing energy usage and lowering utility bills. You know, a lot of homeowners tend to live in regions of the country where there are a lot of natural disasters, and spray foam offers some amazing benefits there. It can actually reinforce the structural integrity of your home, helping it stand up in the event that something awful happens. Good news for Andy and Anitra. The blower door test taken after the insulation process reveals that the air infiltration of this home has been reduced by 60%. That's a significant difference. For a better understanding of spray foam insulation and its benefits, visit the website whysprayfoam.org. There will be a link to that website at designingspaces.tv in the Think Green section, where you can review this portion of the show again by simply clicking on the appropriate video. Join in the conversation at Facebook forward slash D Spaces TV. We all want clean water and a healthy ecosystem, and we all want to find ways to lower our cost of living. The new technologies are here now, improving our lifestyles and the environment. Let's keep moving in the right direction and think green. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show or to find out how to be part of the show, log on to designingspaces.tv. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.